Salam and good evening. It's so good to see you all today. Would you like to make a little wish with me before I do a little story time for you? This is sand from the Cave of Wonders. Oh, look. Can you see? Let's make a wish together. Are you ready? One, two, three. I wished that I would be able to see you all very soon. But in the meantime, I thought that maybe you would like to hear a wonderful story about princesses who like to wear pants. Because you know, I'm a princess that likes to wear pants. It's true. All right, this is it. Princesses wear pants. To all who choose to read this book, it's time to give princesses a second look. The Pineapple Kingdom has a story to share of a special young princess and a surprising affair. Princess Penelope Pineapple was her name, with brown eyes, pink cheeks, and pigtails of fame. The one thing more admired than her long flowy tresses was her closet full of tiaras and dazzling dresses. Oh my goodness, I like that green one back there. Penny was the daughter of the king and queen atop Pineapple Castle she could often be seen. With her brother, Philip, and the royal cat, Miss Fuzzy Wiggles. What a silly name is that. <laughs> I have a tiger, not a cat. Mm -hmm. A proper young lady, Penny, could paint, sing, and dance. But did you know about her collection of pants? She's just like me. Crowns and gowns have their place, no doubt, but that's not all this girl was about. She loved to sparkle, loved ruffles too, but I wear pants, she said, cause I've got things to do. There she is. Looks like she's in a very important office there. <laughs> oh, yoga. Early each morning as the sun would rise, Penny got up to exercise. She'd pull on her yoga pants and a t-shirt because a workout, of course, is no place for a skirt. Mm -hmm. Tending the garden was a very big job, growing tomatoes and corn on the cob. To feed those in need of a meal is my duty, said the princess in pants, paying no mind to beauty. Oh, wow. She likes to garden. I like to garden too. A pilot in the Pineapple Air Command. She did high flying tricks while guarding the land. Oh my, look at her. You see? <laughs> in her sequenced flight suit, Penny never was scared. She flipped and flew higher than others had dared. Look at the cat. <laughs> Whoa! And Penny hosted the Pineapple Science Fair, a place for kids with ideas to share. With solar cars, robots, and cures for the sick, her lab coat and corduroys did just the trick. But sometimes Penny just liked to unwind, wearing comfy old jeans, the patched up kind. She'd read books or daydream or write a long letter to great grandma Pineapple to make her feel better. Then came the night of the pineapple ball, the event of the season, come one, come all, ladies and gents in their costumes so fine, sipping pineapple punch, oh, how divine. Grand Lady Busy Boots would surely be there with her wagging finger and disapproving stare. Pants have no place on a lady, she'd say. That's how it has been, and that's how it should stay. <laughs> she must not have met me, okay? <laughs> because I wear pants all the time and I get a lot of things done, okay? I train tigers and I release birds and I go out into the village and give apples to hungry children and I have to wear pants. So she just must not know. Let's see what happens to her. Penny gazed at her gowns all lined up in a row. If I can't wear pants, then I don't want to go. I love to dress up just as pretty as can be, but underneath it all, I just have to be me. That's right. You tell him, girl. That's right. I wear pants if I want to to the ball, and I will. 
Once at the ball, Penny forgot all her troubles. The courtyard was brilliant with baubles and bubbles. As the crowds climbed down the palace staircase, none could imagine what would soon take place. Oh, there she is up there. Look, Miss Busy Boots. Oh, look, she's in a dress. So she did wear a dress. For just a moment, a terrible wail came from high above, where a furry long tail could be seen hanging down from the tower's north wall. It was the royal kitty trying hard not to fall. Oh, no. <gasps> Miss Fussy, screeched Penny. The music then stopped. Every eye turned upward. Every jaw dropped. Kerplunk went the cat in the moat down below. Her royal coat soaked from ear to toe. Oh, no. Raja doesn't like to get wet either. That, that is a serious problem. Prince Philippe cried out as he fell to his knees. She cannot swim. Someone help her, please. I'd save her myself, but my suit would get wet. I'm not dressed to rescue a poor royal pet. Oh, my. Penny was ready, no need for preparing to spring into action no matter what she was wearing. The crowd thought for sure in her gown she'd be sunk, but under her skirts were her pink swimming trunks. She's going to save the day, isn't she? Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. She dived into the water and swam toward the cat and rescued Miss Fussy in five seconds flat. Miss Fussy in arm, Penny swam back around, slipped on her shoes, and shook off that gown. Ah, oh, look, she put the cat on a pillow. Raja also sleeps on a pillow, it's true. She handed the cat to grateful Prince P, who said, In dresses or trunks, you're braver than me. The kingdom rejoiced and sang Penny's praises. The pineapple princess always amazes. Lady Busy Boots took the stage and grabbed the mic. From now on, princesses should wear whatever they like. We've all learned a lesson from Penny today. Sometimes our dresses can get in the way. She learned a lesson, didn't she? The Pineapple Kingdom proudly agreed. We must be ourselves, as the lady decreed. The princess helped when no one else could. She saved the day, just like a good royal should. Penny smiled and said as she started to dance, it's what princesses do. This is why we wear pants. Oh. Wasn't that a great story? I think it's really important to wear pants sometimes. You just can't wear pants when you're gardening or, you know, all the time. It makes it so easy to get things done if you're wearing pants, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. I hope you like that story and show me some pictures of you, maybe in your Jasmine outfit. That would be wonderful. I would love that because I wear pants all the time and it's important to be able to get out in the dirt and dig and run around. And I've heard of this new thing called skiing that you absolutely would have to wear pants to do that as well in the snow. So send me your pictures. I miss you all. Goodbye.